Welcome to our second video on learning about vowels. Last time we learned that a vowel is short and happy when it is closed in by a consonant and there's no other vowel close by. So this word would be r -ip, rip. Now this video is about naughty vowels. Vowels are short and happy when they are by themselves, but when there's another vowel close by, either one letter away or right next to it, the vowels start to get upset because they always like to be the first in the word. So in this word, the E is upset because the I is first. So he reaches right around this P, pinches the I, and instead of being short and happy, the I now says, I. And now the word becomes R. I p and the e makes no sound at all because he doesn't want to get caught. So that word becomes ripe. Let's try another one. In this word r a t, the a is closed in and there's not another vowel close by, so the a is short and happy and says a. Ah. The word is r at. But if that naughty vowel comes along, he starts to get upset because he's not first in line, so he reaches under the T, pinches the A, and the A is not happy anymore. She screams her name, A, and the word is now R A T, and the E is silent so that it doesn't get caught. All right, one final word to look at with this particular rule would be the C U T. Again, this vowel is short and happy. It's closed in by a consonant and there's no vowel nearby. But when the E comes along, the E is upset, pinches the U, the U screams its name, U, and the word is now k -ute. cute. Now, vowels can pinch when they are one letter away or right next to it. So in this one, the E is still upset, and he can still reach the U. So the E reaches the U, pinches him, the U says his name, and the E is silent. K, U, Q. This happens in some other words that you might have seen, such as M, E, E, T. This word is, the E pinches the E, he says his name, he's quiet. Mm, eat, meat. It can happen in words like R, A, I, N, R, A, N, or it can happen in words like B, O, A, T. O, B, O, T. But if I want to make a word where I need two vowels, such as ribbon, R, I, B, uh, N, ribbon, I have to ask myself, is there an opportunity for pinching? Yes, there is. Do I want this I to say I, or do I want it to stay short and happy and say I? I want it to be short and happy. So what I have to do in this case is I have to push this part of the word farther away, push the vowel farther away, and just double that middle letter. And the word is now ribbon. The O cannot reach around two letters to pinch, so the I gets to stay short and happy. And that is how I explain when to use a short vowel or a long vowel when reading and spelling words.